It is a women's 115 pound matchup between Paige Van Zandt and Felice Herrick. While drillers make killers and nobody works her takedowns harder than this young woman, she has become a force in this division. And even though the opposition oftentimes knows what's coming, no one's able to stop that shot. Nobody's able to stop that takedown attempt. No one's able to stop that single leg. She said in the fighter meetings, I have thrown that takedown 5,000 times. Amazing. Over and over, I hit a single leg. Every day of the week, I hit at least 30 single legs. I'm like, well, is wrestling practice every day? She goes, no. I just want to make sure that I have a skill that is so dominant that no matter how much you practice it, you are not practicing it enough to stop me from taking you down with it. It is truly crazy to watch her approach to getting that single leg off. And her ability to get her opponents off balance in a mixed martial arts setting, as special as anybody in the sport right now, we'll see how it goes for her here tonight. All right, so here is the UFC superstar Paige Van Zandt. She's about as classy as it gets. Injuries have become part of the narrative, at least recently here. She'll try to get on track here tonight. Yes, Paige Van Zandt is a star, right? The magnetic personality, the pink smile. She lights up every room she steps into. She's just a person that you want to be around because you know she's exuding happiness. But that's until she goes into an octagon. When she gets into an octagon, she is nasty. A fighter's fighter, a person that's willing to go out there and just let it all hang out. Even in defeat, you see the toughness of Paige Van Zandt. She had a huge win by submission over Rachel Oscovich. That was January of 2019. Seems to have the arm injuries in check. We'll see how it goes for PVZ here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this strawweight fight. Van Zandt is 26. Herrig is 35. The rest of the numbers are close. We set it inside the octagon. The veteran Ladies voice and gentlemen, is this fight is three rounds in the UFC strawweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, 10 losses. She stands 5 feet 5 inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Fighting out of Crystal Lake, Illinois, Felice Lil Bulldog Harris. And now introducing your opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A freestyle fighter holding a professional record of eight wins, five losses. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Fighting out of Portland, Oregon, 12-gauge Paige Benzak. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eva Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? All right, so here we go with round one. You've got maybe the division's most well-rounded fighter taking on a Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner of the highest order. You got a sprawling ball tonight. Yeah, you got a sprawling ball. You got to keep this fight upright. She needs to make sure that she doesn't overextend on any punches and find herself on the ground grappling with this fantastic jiu-jitsu special. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Eric gets caught with that punch. Van Zant going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. Way to mix it up. Unbelievable elbow land. Spinning back fist. Perry going for the body. Miss with that kick. Oh, nice right hand. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. Well, she's nice right. takedown. And that takedown was because she had to get that takedown. Oh, and with conviction, she moves right into half guard. Without much effort, she was able to pass from her full guard right into half guard. Van Zant gets up and is back on her feet. Very nice. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts. Eric's looking for that arm triangle now. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Nicely done. Right there. 
get the side control, yep. Wow, there is just a viciousness with which she operates here on the ground as she continues to get the ground and pound game going. She might get a finish here. She's looking for a finish. She's so good at dictating these ground exchanges, and she's doing a fantastic job of building posture to try to land that kill shot from the top. Big punch land. Ooh. Under three minutes remain in round one. So just over 20 total strikes have landed tonight for Felice Herrick. Oh, perfect head kick there. Oh, straight right. Oh, nice shot there. Takedown landed by Herrick. With conviction, she moves right into half guard. When Eric's looking for that arm triangle. Oh, man, that was slick. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Van Zandt. All right, she's in full guard here, DC, but you know she passes as well as anybody in this division. Oh, man, when she gets to the ground, she has an amazing ability to just be advancing or thinking advancement every single time. But her opponent has a great ability and a great sense of anticipation that when you try to go, she's able to get back to her feet, escape, and get to where she's comfortable. Ah, she's unable to connect with the left hook. Great punch and with so much power. All right, so she attempts to take down here. Decent entry, but unable to get the fight to the ground. She's having a difficult time securing the hips. Why not go up her body, try to engage in the clinch, try to mix it up if you're going to get these takedowns. That one's not in. Nice strike. Just out of range with that right hand. Man, how good is her jab? And there it is again. So that jab has been in her opponent's face from the opening. It is crazy to watch this, John. It's amazing for us to sit here and watch someone with an understanding of the striking and an understanding of the jab being first as she is showing us tonight. Man, she is at her relentless best late in the round and gets another takedown for good measure. Big moment in the fight to secure a takedown late. Leaves the last impression in the judge's mind, but also makes her feel good that she finally got that takedown that she's been chasing. Eric's looking round. for that arm triangle now. Oh, saved by the bell. Round over. And the finish came just in time. Thought maybe she might tap there, but you know how tough she is. So the submission attempt right at the end of the round, saved by the bell, back to the stools they go. We'll see if she can recover in time for this next round. All right, so that's the end of the round. Lot to like in there, DC, particularly when it comes to her offensive wrestling game. She's evolving, right? She's gotten better. She did not have this skill set before. Now you watch her and she looks like an Olympian. She looks like a girl that can wrestle at the highest level. She scored so many takedowns in that round. Her wrestling coach must be very proud. All right, so she was able to take her opponent down really at will in the previous round. We'll see if her opponent has made the proper adjustments here. It's going to be very difficult because the way that she attacks is so diverse. She's never just doing one thing and giving a pattern. Right. It's always like, it's like algebra, right? Her opponent's doing basic mathematics, but she's doing algebra. She's giving her so much information that she gets lost. And when her opponent gets lost, she's able to secure top position and really, really start to get damage off. I get anxiety just hearing the word algebra. Oh. You do well in that? No, John, no, I did horribly. I thought that I could use my graphic calculator to give me answers. Eric's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some Attempting obvious signs of now. Oh, nice job, Mike. Nicely done. 
Well, she was long on grappling experience coming into the UFC, and you see her chops here. Just beautiful when it comes to the transition. It's very difficult to keep up with her on the ground. See, see there it is. She switch. She switch. Nice move, this one. Both fighters throwing heat now. Great tempo to her striking game tonight. She is staying busy and a nice series of punches again there. She's in a great flow state. The hands are flowing, the head movement's going. She's doing a fantastic job. You love that flow state. I love it. 75 total strikes have now landed for Paige Van Zandt. And connecting at a 68% clip thus far against Felice Herrick. She's starting to put together some significant body work here, and these are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Hera gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Oh, uppercut to the head, but it's blocked there by Van Zandt. Beautiful strike. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Herrick's torso, specifically that right side, has it. Well, she told us in our fighter meeting on Thursday, the double leg would be there. It was certainly there. Herrick's trying for the Kimura submission here. The Kimura is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure. Oh, man, that was slick. Well, she did not miss a single grappling practice during this training camp, and here's your evidence. Outstanding movement on the ground. She looks like a master of grappling with the great movement that she's showing on the ground. How good is her movement here on the ground, right? Shades of Ray Borg just transitioning so beautiful. Yeah, she's so good at transitions and movement. Her ability is unmatched. Oh, she gives up her back here. So a case of pick your poison, and now she's going to have to work hard defensively to prevent the fish. Well, she's got to protect her neck. That's the first thing. She's got to really be aware of where her opponent's arms are. If her opponents get anywhere near her neck, she needs to really defend. Attack the top hand. The top hand is the choke hand. Make sure that top hand is always yours. When you grab it, keep it. It belongs to you now. And then start to work. Try to get to your base and get back to your feet. Oh, nice strike on the ground for her. Great movement by her here on the ground, and she just does it so fluidly and so easily. It, it's really a sight to behold. You can tell that she's been a lifetime developing this skill with the way that she's able to move with so little effort on the mat. Continues to apply pressure here in half guard. Eric's back in full guard. There it is. Get up now. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Good punch, Lance. Oh, there it is. Right to the outside of that lead leg, she lands the kick. She did a great job of landing that outside leg. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Another big kick now. She is just non-stop on the ground, moving in all the right directions. Another nice transition by her there. She's moving a lot, but every movement has purpose. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. Right hand punch from the clinch. 
Van Zant's kick attempt there, blocked. Attempts the front kick there. Eric's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Nice punch by Van Zant. Going to the body there with the right kick. Back and forth we go. Eric gets tattooed with that hook. Beautifully timed in place. Oh, she's got the right hand going tonight, DC. She's in a great flow, and she's throwing from her dominant side to land that great strike. Oh, look at that combination. I got two words for you, champ. Head trauma. Head trauma, which can be fought by head. <laughs> Young Lee, move your head. Move your head. You want your parents to recognize you by the time this fight is done. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Well, she was long on grappling experience coming into the UFC. Eric's looking for that arm triangle. Under three minutes now to go in round three. Van Zant gets up and is back on her feet. Very nice. The numbers continuing to pile up. 138 total strikes and counting, which have landed for Paige Van Zant. And the connection rate, DC, pretty good as well, landing at a 63% clip against Felice Harris. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you'd want to see from her here. She's trying to keep the judges out of it. Really oh, light her up oh, now. There's the double leg takedown. All right, she postures up here, DC. We'll see if she can get those ground strikes. Going. Watch for the huge elbows that she's known for. Well, she did not miss a single grappling practice during this training camp, and here's your evidence. Outstanding movement on the ground. She looks like a master of grappling with the great movement that she's showing on the ground. Under two minutes now with which to work. Man, this is not a fighter who you want around your neck. She goes for the guillotine here. again. Back to the feet now. She missed with that jab. Man, look at the bruising and the redness starting to appear on the left side of her body there. Not good. Oh, and she lands another punch here, and you can tell at this point she's targeting the cut on her opponent's side. As she's, the record is on repeat. Wash and rinse over and over again. It's takedown after takedown. I mean, that right hand landed square. In full guard now, DC. And I know when you're in this position, you're looking to pass the half guard pretty quick. Oh, absolutely. Trying to get the half guard so I can start to get up ground and pound. This is exactly what she needs to do. Not only does it get you to a position to get off ground and pound, it also takes a lot of the danger away right. from your opponent off of their back. Half guard is not nearly as dangerous as full guard. So Eric's looking for that arm triangle now. So a nice showcase for both fighters and for this division. Close competitive fight. And now they await the judges' scorecards. Should be, should be interesting. This is the most uncomfortable situation in all of fighting. Not knowing whether or not you won the fight. But if I could give her something to feel comfortable about, 
it would be that she was the one that had a slight advantage in the stand-up, and I believe that will get her a victory. Here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Judge one scores the contest, 30-27. Harry! Judge two scores it, 9-28. And that! And Judge three scores it, 9-28. For the winner by split decision, 12-gauge Paige Vansant! All right, so a win's a win. She gets it done by split decision. I thought she won the fight and ultimately gets her hand raised. Yeah, she won the fight, but it was just very, very close and closer than she thought it would be when she came into this octagon. Credit to her opponent, but also a credit to her for getting through that and getting the victory.